you have to get this later. Or you can get it right now and get it from the App Store. So you're going to say X, X, X code. Click enter. And right now, you see it right here in the corner. Now, it's in the developer tool, but I already had this downloaded right here in the dock. Right here. But if you need to use it, just click here. It will say download or install. But right now, it says open because I already downloaded it. Now, okay, we're going to go to Xcode, right? Click on it. And it'll and we're gonna say create a new Xcode project. For the template, we're gonna select single view application. Click next. We're gonna say we're gonna call this timer. Make sure the language is Objective C and the device is iPhone. Click next. Save it up and. We got it ready. <clears throat> now we're gonna just take a a little tour. So here's the launch screen, main dot storyboard, view controller, view controller, app delegate, app delegate. So all supporting files, main dot A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff there. There's a lot of stuff. So, but what we're focusing on right now is this main dot storyboard. So, if you want the view controller to be as small as an iPhone screen, which it doesn't look like it, we're going to go to here, click on this, which says show the file inspector, and we're going to deselect use size classes. Click on it, and we're going to say, and right now we're going to say click size class data for iPhone, and we're going to click, click disable size classes. So now it's the size of an iPhone. What we want right now is a label. It's going to say zero. And we're going to make it nice and big, nice and wide. Now, center align the text. Or first, go to the attributes inspector. And center align, make the font much bigger. Let's say you want to make it, let's see, 100. Click enter, and then it will be that big. We want three buttons. One says start. One says stop. And one's going to say restart. Now save it up with command S or you can go to file save right here. So now we want to start writing some code, right? So you go to viewcontroller.h. It's linked up to this view controller, so you click on it. Now you get this little screen that has some code. So we want to write some code. So make some curly braces like this. Click enter. Should put in the closing curly brace for you. If it doesn't, do it right now. Like that. If you want the label to display something and change the label, you have to declare it so they know what the name of the label is so we're going to declare it right here and when you declare something in objective c you have to use this thing called ib outlet so that's what we're going to do right now so we're going to type i b outlet ui label we're going to call this timer label We're gonna have another. We're gonna have an NS timer, NS timer, which is basically the timer to say how long it is lasting. Let's call this timer semicolon. 
Now, below here, we're going to have to do some IB actions and one void function. We need three IB actions and one void function. Because the void function is what happens when you click on, whenever, whenever you start it, the timer needs to do something to the label. So, we're going to say hyphen parentheses void parentheses and we're going to call this count semicolon now we're going to have to declare some IB actions I B action as we see here there's the auto fill it fills out for you click and for the selector we're going to say start and we're going to put semicolon now we're going to declare another one IB action stop semicolon IB action restart semicolon now we're going to copy these four lines of code and we're and we're going to paste them in to view controller.m you can do this with command c or you go to file Copy once the text is select highlighted. Save it up and let's go to viewcontroller.n. So under void did receive memory of warning. I'm gonna go down, paste with command V or file edit paste. Now we're gonna put some we're gonna put curly braces for every single one. So like this. And they should put in the closing curly brace for you. And save it up. And we got this so far. Well, we need to go back to viewcontroller.h and declare an int. We're going to say int. Int timer count. We're going to call it timer count. Because what's an, what the number the label displays, it depends on the int or the integer. Save it. Now we're gonna go here, and under vo super view did load in brackets, we're gonna say timer count equals zero because the timer hasn't started. Now we want to make the start do something, so we're gonna say timer equals in brackets. NS timer timer scheduled ti timer with time interval this one scheduled scheduled timer with time interval and it's time interval target selector user info repeats bool the bool variable is basically yes or no so we're gonna select this one click enter and the time interval is going to be 1 because it goes every single second. Now, target, we're going to say self. Selector. At selector. Count. Now, user info. Nil. Nil also stands for 0. Repeat, spool, yes in capitals. Or you could say true. like that. Doesn't really matter which one you choose. Now, in stop, we want the timer to stop. So, in bra in brackets, we're going to say timer invalidate. That will make the timer stop what it's doing. So, the timer is running when you click start, but when you click stop, it will stop running. So, yeah, if you want in restart, you want the timer to go to zero, the number to go to zero. So you're going to say timer count equals zero. Timer la label dot text, which means the text, equals ns string, string with format down here. 
right here. And we're going to say at for string, and we're going to say zero. And so that will make the timer go to zero. The timer can't go to zero, so it would be zero, so it would stop running. And we're going to make the timer stop just in case. So we're going to say timer, just like there, invalidate. So you're going to, and we have to change something with the count. So you're going to say timer count equals timer count plus one. Which makes it plus one every time it's ru running. Now we're going to say timer label dot text equals in brackets and a string string with format and we'll say at percent i to say an integer. I'm going to put a comma and we're going to say timer count. Okay, now I'll save it up, and we got, and this is done. So, also, you have to say timer label equals zero, dot text equals zero, because what else, if something else happens, then it would just be a random number if something happens. And a string, string of format, at zero, right? Save it. And we have to link, we forgot to link everything up. So we're going to say this is a timer label, timer label. Click right here to say timer label. So you click, and then we're going to link these IB actions up. So we're going to say touch up inside, down to the view controller until it is highlighted blue. Let go, and we're going to say st start because this is a start button. Now click, and it is linked up. Now we're going to do the same thing with the stop button. Click and drag onto the screen until it's highlighted blue. And same thing for the restart button. Save it with command S or go to file save. And we're going to run it right now for the first time. So... The simulator is going to show up like this. This is a launch screen. And see our timer? We're going to click start. One, two, three, four, five. And it's going to keep on counting until you press stop. Let's see what happens when you press stop. It stops. If you press restart, it goes like that. Press start again. It keeps. It starts. Restart. It goes to zero. Stop. Doesn't work, really work. But one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and so on and so on. Till you press restart or stop, it'll stop. Press restart, goes to zero. So we are done for now, and we're just gonna do a little recap. So this is what we did in Made That Storyboard. We we're gonna we. We put a label that says zero. You can do one by dragging one to the screen until it's highlighted blue. We had three buttons like this. And so you can, it'll make, and you have to link this stuff up. So you go to view controller to H. We had these curly braces. And we have only a timer label and we have an end his timer. We have four functions, one's a void, and three are IB actions, right? And view controller.m in the view did load, so what happens when the view did lo does load? It's going to say, it's going to make the timer count out label and equals zero, so the timer label equals the timer count, right? And in count, or the void function, it's going to say timer count equals timer count plus one. Each time it's run, the timer count will equal will be one more than it used to be. And the timer label is still going to equal the timer count. And the timer 
equals NS timer because this is an NS timer. Scheduled timer with time interval 1, which means it will run every 1 second. Target self, which means it will run by itself. Selector, at selector count, which it means it will use this. This will happen every 1 second inside here. User info nil, which means there's no user info, it doesn't know who you are, and repeats true, which means it will keep on repeating. You could also say yes here. And here it says the stop one, it says timer invalidate. Remember, we said that it would stop the timer from running. So that's what it does. And in restart, it turns it back to zero. And it turns the text to zero, and the timer stops. So that's all, and thank you for watching today.